Hello and welcome back to SpeedyNet, where we have our lovely HQ here that is uh, turning out to be a little bit in a overgrown wilderness. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know what has happened, but it sure seems that actually in the whole world, <laughs> the trees have taken the upper hand. <laughs> Pretty much everything is just one big overgrown <laughs> bushy mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but the trees certainly don't know how to stop growing. I mean, just look at it, you know. <laughs> There's trees everywhere. The whole world is covered in a green carpet. But that is all of little importance. Because what we are going to do today is a little bit uh, different than what we've been doing so far for like the past 40 years or so. No, instead, what we will be doing today is we will be taking a look at the company. Now, you might wonder why. Uh, it has a reason. If you remember correctly... Uh, oh, where is our network now? Uh, it's all the way over here. If you remember correctly, last time we left off, we were going to uh, set up these two coal mines over here so that they will produce a lots of coal to bring over here to increase the farm supplies to well you know the whole jazz now current status of that whole plan is as follows look double production same over here right double production lots of coal waiting but we have a big ship and it can carry a whole lot so well, right now there's almost like 300,000 tons it can carry almost three and a half, so we aren't really in danger of completely filling up this ship. It can carry everything in one load, so we're good over here. But there's an issue. The issue is that over here the farm supplies were dwindling. Well, right now they are very, 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 very slowly climbing up. That is, well, on the one hand a good thing, means we'll never run out. It isn't climbing up that fast that I'm confident in like running another train or lengthening them back up with those four wagons. And even if we did lengthen them up with four wagons, we're currently using pretty much all of that over here. We might be able to double up what the production of one farm, but that's it. And we would be really running it tight over here that, with the uh, farm supplies. So tight, in fact, that I would need to keep a constant eye on it, whether or not I didn't overshoot it with the amount we use up. Right now, it's good. I can leave this running for a hundred years. <laughs> well, right, maybe not that long, but um, we, I can leave it running for a long time and it will never, ever run out. So that's good, but it isn't really what I wanted, because I wanted more farm supplies so that we can ramp up all the production over here. So that didn't happen, one thing. Another thing that I did uh, was over here, and for the first time I've broken the rule of not building off camera, I did. I did build this off camera, <laughs> which is the only bit, I swear. Uh, just so that we could move some of these farm supplies over here, which have been piling up, to this forest, which was at normal production. Right now it is not anymore. So we're moving all that timber towards, <laughs> yeah, very far away, over here. Now as you can see, these engineering supplies, we had like a 2000 over here. That has been gl well, going down, and even after I toned down the amounts that we took to the oil wells, it was still going down, but very slowly. Right now, it is more or less stabilized. It hasn't been going down, really. Right now, we just had a pickup of uh, supplies, so that's why it is at... Uh, look, I mean, this here, I believe, is the train, or is it not? No, it's a timber train, actually. Well, it might be still going down slowly. It was at 600, so... I don't know, you know, it's iffy. I hope it won't go down any further, but it's iffy. It's not really that bad if it drops down really, really low. It's not like everything is going to collapse all of a sudden, because most of these coal mines over here, which is where those engineering supplies are going, are on double production, so... And that with a good surplus, you know, on that double production. So it isn't like we're on the verge of collapse, but it wouldn't be good. So that's more or less, you know, that's an iffy one. 
Now, that also means that we do not have more supplies going to the oil wells. So these ones, uh, over here, are still a double production. Which means no more, uh, we, we haven't had an increase over here in, uh, well, in chemical productions, which means that the engineering supplies over here are also more or less the same. Now the good thing about the engineering supplies over here is that they are growing. They're growing quite substantially. Well, <laughs> I say that. That's only ever after we had those coal mines hook up and we started to move a little bit more chemicals over here. So it's marginal. Now we had these supplies also going over here towards these coal mines. And, well, I even have those supply trains uh, timetables right now. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, those are... No, those are not the supply trains. Uh, <laughs> where are they? <laughs> uh, I think these are the supply trains. You can see we have them uh, timetabled. Well, not all yet, but it's, it, it is timetabling them right now. But even then, even with that... That is still not enough to have this go into quadruple production mode. I think we would need like a third train for that, which I am completely sure of. This production over here cannot handle. All in all, all that we did was we just pretty much stabilized the situation. So as it is right now, it could run for well, God knows how long without ever collapsing its productivity. Oh, well, that's good, <laughs> but it isn't what I wanted. I wanted a profit explosion because everything would go into quadruple mode. And it just doesn't happen. And the reason why, because I did some numbers back uh, on, well, over here, you know, on the uh, on the supplies and, uh, and the chemicals and all that. And, well, you know, doing the numbers on the, uh, on the machine, you know, on the calculator machine, Everything should work out, but somehow we're losing uh, goods compared to what I calculated it. You know? And that is all to do with travel time. We should revisit this, you know, maybe when we have a lot faster trains and the average speed on our network is much, much higher. But for right now, I've decided that we should leave this as is. Because currently it could just keep on running till like forever. That is not to say that this whole operation, of which this is pretty much the centerpiece, is over with. No, because we have one very good uh, byproduct that we are currently not doing anything with. And what's that, you might wonder? It is made right over here, and it is petrol. And petrol, as it happens, is something that is needed by towns. Because we have this uh, mod installed in the hard pack. Oh crap, <laughs> this is the station, <laughs> balls. But uh, over here you can see that we have this mod installed where towns need mail, they need passengers, and they need petrol. Now this town currently needs <laughs> a thousand liters of petrol to grow. I don't know if this accepts petrol. No, it doesn't actually. <laughs> Great, not. <laughs> How are we ever going to get this to accept petrol then? That is a good question. Uh, I haven't really thought of that before. <laughs> Let me just see. What if I place uh, this somewhere? It only says mail. It never says petrol anywhere. Not even right in the city center. Well, uh, that's an issue. Really? <laughs> so this town, how are we going to get this to grow then? I wonder. Could I just deliver some petrol? You know what, we're gonna try that. We're gonna see what happens if I start delivering some petrol to over here. But if that doesn't work, uh, let me just go to a big city. Uh, Alright, Chonford is big. What if I were to do the same thing over here? Would that do except no? It does not accept petrol. Look, I mean, it only accepts foods and goods. Uh, fruit, but <laughs> that's pro probably because there's a store or something in its reach. Hmm, yeah, see, there's a grocery store over there. Well, well, well. I'm gonna try it regardless and see what happens, you know, if... Um, 
maybe it, I don't know, if it says it doesn't accept it, I'm kind of like, well, <laughs> then it won't accept it. We're gonna try it regardless. Now we'll buy ourselves a vehicle. Uh, let's see, we don't want, we want petrol there. Um, we, we are obliged to use this uh, oil uh, thingy tanker car, which we will do. There. Right, now you're gonna go over here, and then you're gonna go over there. And at Bunding Bridge... Well, I don't know. Let's just, let's see what happens if I were to have it run like this. In any case, I mean, whilst we are looking at this to see what happens, we'll leave the uh, we'll leave both stations open here so that we can see whatever happens. Um, now I was talking about the profit explosion that did not happen. Let me show you. If we go over here, you can see that. Well, you know, I have been adding, uh, you know, the, sh the uh, supplies to the coal mines, and you know, having the forest go to quadruple production. So that worked out. You can see those are these small climbs. In total, we managed to go from seven and a half to eight and a half, which uh, isn't bad, I guess. You know, it's like a solid increase, but it isn't the explosion that I thought would net us over here where like this key thing is right now so it isn't good now let's take a look at the other graphs I mean the income graph is just pretty much the same with bigger numbers really uh, let's take a look at the delivered cargo graph yeah you can see over here here the production went up of the uh, coal mines over here of the forest but that's pretty much it it's not that big of an uh, well of an increase really Mm, let's take a look at the company value thing. <laughs> it's actually going down over here, but I think that was because I cut down the number of trains a little bit. Uh, and those are just uh, the same. Let's take a look over here, though. It's been a long while since we last we looked at this, right? So, um, right over here. Hold on a second. You are not. Uh, you're not carrying petrol yet. Over here, I mean, those numbers, man, <laughs> they're big. <laughs> they are really, really big. Wow. Look at that. Property maintenance is 15 million a year. We make 51 million a year, of which pretty much like the biggest majority comes from trains. And then ships and road vehicles are more or less equal, actually. All right, that's interesting. The running cost isn't really that big, it's property maintenance that really is the biggest th thing that is costing us. And of course, the taxes that we need to pay. Now over here you can see I removed some trains, I think that is actually what you're seeing over here. That the other, oh no wait, no no no, the other thing is going up ever so slowly. Yeah, the more we spend on construction, the more this increases really so yeah hmm. well i guess it is what it is wow <laughs> and last year man we spent a crazy amount on new vehicles but uh we are going to do that even more so because um we currently uh, if we take a look at like the trains that we can buy hmm, there are quite a few locomotives that we have and well if we take a look at our very early beginning area over here where it all started with the iron industry here we are still running i don't know if i can see a train heads on wow this list here man doesn't make it any easier <laughs> when it comes to visibility but yeah look these locomotives man they're still the old hogs you know <laughs> oh man look at that 60 uh Pulling power. Look even at the setup with the cabooses right in the middle. <laughs> I mean, the cabooses that we have today are like longer, different, and better in every way. Uh, we do use moguls over here, though, no? fortunately, but yeah, I think it's time to replace those as we have trains that are equally as powerful with like more than double, almost triple the amount of pulling power. So, and. Well, the mogul is extremely reliable, which you are not, in fact. Ooh. Still, we have faster trains with more pulling power that are a lot more reliable. Like, 
actually. I don't know if that's worth it, really. I think, to be honest, that we should take the breakdowns for granted, really, if they're that happy. This is designed in 1875. Right, that's interesting. It's now 1893. That means that this one's not going to become that much more reliable. Huh. Right, maybe. Because what I was thinking of doing was... Uh, well, replacing these locomotives, but in hindsight, we might not need to do that. Regardless, I think it's still a good idea to uh, update uh, the... Oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't want to close those. I gotta do that, you know. And I was like, I just want clean screen policy. <laughs> but uh, I didn't really want to close that. I wanted to keep an eye on that. So. Balls. Right, well, open these back up. There just to see what happens now but what i think that we should do is update our trains so that we are running with the strongest engines possible so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do some updates on everything and we are just gonna sift through all these groups for example uh over here this one i see we are running quite different types of trains these are really really old trains well, you're not ma even making a profit in this boost train. Look at the attractive effort there for two locomotives. This this is one of those things that should be in a museum by now. <laughs> oh man, uh, it's ages 21 years and it's not making a profit. That means that we're going to send this train home. Clearly it is not needed. We're going to retire it. The rest of the list now, we're going to uh, replace the vehicles. I mean, what is your top speed? Uh, it is 80 kilometers an hour, but... I think we should uh, replace both the, uh, you know, the wagons and also the locomotives so that we have like a completely updated and, uh, um, well, you know, faster uh, train set so that the average speed on the network also goes up. Now, currently we are using on that list the this one but then the older version which we're using over here that's only that train you know what let's first do the wagons so we are using flat cars and box cars i think we should you know stop all of that and start replacing everything with then tanker cars so we'll do that yes replace those with the tanker cars wow <laughs> look at that insta upgrade right that's nice then we'll go back to the engines and i think that well, we need to take a look at the cargo graph too. No, that's the income graph. I want a cargo payment rates. Wow, screens, man. <laughs> Everywhere screens, I'm telling you. Let's just move everything over a little bit. Uh, and more like this. Right, now what do you currently have? You have 8,000. Right. Okay, so alcohol. Look, see? Steep decline. I want fast trains on this one. And by the way, you are there. Bye. <laughs> that simple. No, I want fast trains on this with fast locomotives. So, what do we... Oh, yeah, as much... I thought as much. It is not unloading there, so it does not accept it. That is an issue. That is a serious issue. Right, um, how are we going to get the oil to the town? <laughs> that is a very good question. I do not know. I know that you, at least, oh, you know what? Well, what if we just put this to unload and not take cargo? Maybe that will do it. I don't know, really. I highly doubt it. You know, what, what I think is that the town just won't accept it, period. No town will accept it. In fact, we can check that. We go to our big list of stations, put all. And, uh, let's see, disable everything. Uh, hold on, no. And then we should go to petrol, which, <laughs> well, I think is this one. Yeah, look, see, it's only this one because it is close to the oil refinery. No other station actually accepts that stuff. That ain't good. 
Hmm, I'll have to look up how that works on the interwebs because I haven't really tested this, so I don't really know how it works. So I'll get back to this, but the plan is at least to start delivering the petrol to the towns. Yeah, it only makes a transfer. This is never really accepted. Right, well, you can stop doing that because there's no point. And uh, we'll have to get back to that. Regardless, we are going to replace some trains here. I want the fastest trains uh, possible. Crap. <laughs> no, not that one. I want the fastest trains possible. So now, where? Um, we are going to... For these ones... We should take... Uh, the thing is, I want, of course, these four six yeah, the four four o's which we have already here which makes replacing them rather difficult now what we will do because some wagons are longer we will put a wagon removal on and we will start replacing these start replacing i don't really know how we are going to get these replaced um, maybe replace only now replace all that's only when they replace it's not how we're going to replace this because for some reason can i why can't i just replace them with the same vehicles to give them an update that's <laughs> really 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 annoying uh, we could make an intermediary switch but i don't like doing that so hmm Ah, well, I guess this is an upgrade too, you know, it doesn't matter much, they're both equally, this, the other one's a little bit more reliable. So, if I were to, I can't even replace that, why can I not replace that? Why? No, it's a, be, why? Wait, what? Why? Ah, oh, that does not, that doesn't matter anything. Why? Well, that is really odd, for some reason, I cannot replace... Oh, now I can? It's just that I cannot replace it with this... Wow, game... Care to explain this, really? I don't get this. Honestly, I do not. Why? <laughs> what? Uh, maybe... Uh, you know what could be the cause? Maybe it is because it is from a different train set. I'm thinking right now. It's the only thing I can uh, think of. That could be the thing. It, that's a bit cheesy though. Right, you know what? We'll use the intermediary step then. And we will replace them with them cheap moguls. Hmm. I don't like that, you know. But Otherwise, we'd have to do it all manually. And I don't really want to do that either. So, on the other hand. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that isn't such a bad idea, really. But if I had to do it all manually, I'll have to do it off camera. No. <laughs> no, we're gonna do this automatic. We have money to spare. We should spend some, right? So, next list is uh, the building materials trains. Now, as far as I can see, we use moguls and... Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see shortly. Yeah, moguls and those 460 wheelers. Now... Those building materials, we're gonna find out right now. Yeah, they have a little bit less of a steep decline, so I wouldn't mind if we upgrade all of them to this type of train. But, let's first check the uh, wagons, right? Now we have boxcars over here, that we use a lot. I think... You know, it doesn't really matter much if we use boxcars or... Well, I guess <laughs> it is just boxcars because we don't really have an upgrade for the flat car. There's not like a faster version of it, is there? Not? Now, the, yeah, I guess the express car, well, it cannot carry that much. This carries pretty much the... Well, this is actually the upgrade for the boxcar. I think we take a look at what this can carry. No. No, the express car is definitely a thing of its own. Right then. Okay. And the flat car over here. That's just... Hmm. Odd. Regardless, what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade everything to those box guys. 
So we'll start replacing. Yes. And then the same over here. These are also going to be upgraded to these. Um, it's a shame because this looks nice, you know, and these are just closed wagons. I like these open wagons, but it's not any more of this time. Now, let's take a look at the engines, huh? We have moguls, we have these. I want pretty much all of them to just run these, really, because they are heavy freight trains. And all that we need, really, is pulling power, right? I mean, I know it has a decline over here, but it isn't that steep, so I think with 80 kilometers an hour, we should be good, even though these are like a little bit faster. 80 kilometers is quite slow. I wouldn't mind if all of them are pretty much upgraded to this type. Let's do that instead. I mean, after all, if we compare this to alcohol, see, it is you know, keeping up till like when it gets really slow, then it just degrades fast, but... Yeah, I, th I think we're making the right choice by upgrading the moguls to 460s. So, there we go. Right. <laughs> I mean, choice made. No need to check back in later uh, to see whether or not things are going the right way. Like, we have to do with the booze list over here. Then, we have the cool send and stone uh, thingy here. So, let's take a look at this, right? Now, um, first of all, we are going to check in on the wagons. Now we use, I mean, this, this one thing here is of our one odd train in the latest two coal mines that we hooked up. There's no real uh, point <laughs> in replacing those, you know. Over here though, we could definitely do with an upgrade. Now we can see that this one carries 16 tons and these carry 22. There's no real need for a fast uh, upgrade. Because the cool and sand, I mean, cool sandstone, if we just open that, you know, over here, I don't think you'll be surprised to see that this is pretty much uh, flat as it can be. Now, take a look at building materials. It is declining slightly faster, but this is just, I mean, look at that, you know, the speed isn't really relevant until it becomes really late. And this is like more than two months in transit, so we don't need faster wagons, really, as long as they can carry more. Like this, you know, this is just so that, yeah. I mean, the, this carries less, so I think the 40 boxcar over here is also the right thing. Can you carry coal too? No way. Hmm. Alright, that's odd. <laughs> Why can we replace these gondolas if we cannot replace them to refit them in uh, coal, sand or stone stuff? Right, that ain't good either. Uh, I kind of what I need over here. I don't need this list to be this big. What we need is we need a depot open to kind of see <laughs> where uh, which vehicles can carry which capacity. See how complicated this is? I mean, this is tycooning for real, man. It is looking at graphs and figures. Um, let's see. Cool. I mean, sand and stone. Oh, look at that. We can't even upgrade them wagons, all right? Look, see, gondolas is it, pretty much. Well, never mind this then. <laughs> it's a good thing I checked this, <laughs> otherwise I would have upgraded everything and our whole industry would collapse. What we are going to do though is because we want the heaviest pulling power of all, uh, we are going to upgrade all of them to these heavy lifters, you know, the heavy duty stuff. Start replacing. And the same for you. I don't know why we have this faster train here, but you are also going to be this one. Now, I don't know if we have the older version of the... Yeah, the, the, and those are these, you know. Right now it's all black. This is still like gray and brown. No, compare these. Which is a shame, really, but I guess that those are actually... They're still compatible. I mean, what is their pulling power like right now? Well, I say compatible, they're slower and they have less power. I guess, because I don't want to switch them all back to moguls, that we're going to seriously hurt if we do that. Ah, we could. 
No, that, that would be a very bad idea. So I guess what we should just do is um, replace these manually from this list. Balls, I don't like that. <laughs> that's a lot of work for me to do, but fine. <laughs> if that's what it takes, well, then that's what we will do. Uh, by the way, how's it going over here with the replace vehicles from this list? Is that still done already? No? No, it is not. Hmm. Okay. Well, they should all become moguls uh, pretty soon. And then we can uh, switch them back to the right type. So... Oh, man, <laughs> that's a shame, really. Food and goods, then. Right, we, we should not, you know, really... Uh, we shouldn't be paying too much attention to that. I, I guess I'll have to do a lot of work still off camera to get our fleet up to date. Now, foods and goods, huh? We... Uh, let's see... Goods? Whoa. <laughs> if ever I saw a steep decline. <laughs> Yikes. Right, so we went the fastest trains for pretty much everything over here. On express cars and... My, my. <laughs> we actually have that. We have this whole list upgraded with the fastest trains with express cars. Great! <laughs> I do not need to upgrade anything. So... Well, why is this being replaced? Stop replacing the vehicles. Yes. Right, okay. So these are all the faster locomotives. Good, good, good. It still says, though, that something is replacing. Maybe... Yeah, it's the wagons. Alright, stop replacing. I mean, that will clear uh, this icon over here, you know, that arrow thing. By the way, we are <laughs> apparently also replacing something over here. But there's no train in this list, so <laughs> I don't see really how that can be. Then we have fruit trains, which are also all upgraded, so no need to do those. Grain trains, then, huh? Let's take a look at this list. They're all in boxcars, so that's good. Uh, let's see... I mean, usually I do this stuff off camera, you know, but since... Well, <laughs> I kind of... Uh, I mean, the old petrol thing... I wanted to do that, but... Yeah. So, <laughs> this is like, you know, plan B, really. Now, um, we have a pretty steep decline. I want fast trains. Fast trains equals... Well, actually, equals these. So I guess we should just replace the those with these and you know and this and that and uh, the other with the uh, with the one. <laughs> now we're gonna use these 40 box cars because they're better and faster. So uh, we'll uh, start replace with those. Yes. And then when we go to engines, I'll, you know, I won't switch back to something else. I'll just upgrade these to the faster type and I'll do the rest manually. You know, that whole idea with the boost trains that I did, I kind of regret it already. So I'll just set everything to the right type of train. And be done with it, really. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, what I have to do as well is once they're all upgraded, I kind of have to see where we have redundant capacities because we can carry more now in these trains and they'll go faster which means that the numbers should go down but unfortunately that does not go automatic now we have metal uh iron where where, where are the and wood now as far as i'm concerned they're all pretty much slow things you know slow going things so we could, I mean, these are like, well, relatively powerful. I don't think we really need these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna upgrade all of these to, uh, I guess, see, the thing is, the, uh, <laughs> there's no real reason to. We're, we're gonna upgrade all of this to this, because it's heavy duty pulling, you know? Maybe the metal not so much, but I should have made the metal different category, really, because it doesn't really fall into this category. But, <laughs> well, you know, the damage is done, so... By the way, what we can also start to take a look at... Oh, no. Of course, different cargoes... Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'll have to pick apart the metal from the wood and the iron as well. 
I mean, this doesn't matter. This is all the same wagon, but these aren't. So we'll skip this group. I'll do that off camera too. And then Livestock. Right. Now, my guess is a pretty steep decline. <laughs> wow, it's almost near vertical. <laughs> okay. Yeah, how about that? Um, what are we currently using? Can we replace any wagons? We cannot. And then... We could replace the cattle car with a caboose. And that is pretty much it. Otherwise, we cannot replace it with anything. So we'll leave that. Then over here, currently these are the fastest. And I want all the other trains to be those trains. So that means we'll start replacing you with you. And these with these two. Start replacing. There. <laughs> Excuse me, that, that was a bit of a uh, hiccup, but, uh, but this is sorted. Next on the list, milk trains. Look at that, sorted, <laughs> with old cabooses even. <laughs> right, yeah, I guess we only upgrade the real necessities. And then we have this, the oil and the petrol. And... Well, I know one thing that we should do over here, because this is heavy duty pulling too, right? Uh, they, both of them need to go into these tanks. Both of them don't really need to be moved that fast. But the thing is that currently we're still using a lot of these flat cars. We are going to use these tank cars for all of them. That is going to be a serious amount of replacing. Now, if we can then go to the engines, we use quite a few moguls. And we don't really need to. I mean, look at it, especially the oil. Petrol, a little bit less so, but especially the oil, I mean, there's no real need to move it that fast at all. So we're gonna upgrade the moguls to these 280s at the very least. Uh, start replacing. And, well, these faster ones, they're not that bad, you know, so we'll keep those. Maybe we should uh, upgrade them to these, right? They're a little bit slower, but they do have a lot more pulling power. I think that wouldn't be such a bad idea. So, we'll do that, you know, because mainly I think those trains that we have over here are actually for the petrol itself, rather than for the oil. The oil can be the slow ones, yeah. We'll do it. <laughs> it's decided. Alright. Then we have other. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, this I still have to do off camera. Each and every train, I'll have to calculate its speed, how long it takes on average, new capacity, and all that. This is, uh, uh, this is a thing. I'll have to do it there off camera anyway, but <laughs> we'll, we'll wait with that. <laughs> Uh, I'll do that last, you know, because that is delicate as well, so... Now, uh, let's see, over here. Um, we want only the fastest trains. We have only the fastest trains. We can stop replacing. Look at that. Perfect, perfect. Then I want wagons. Look at this. All of them. They're gone. Stop replacing. And the same over here. We don't need all these old mail carriages anymore. We have replaced everything. Everything is up to date. Very good. Now, let's see. Um, the next on the list is Sugar Beet. Right, I, I need to quickly consult this guide over here and show me what Sugar Beet uh, It's also gondolas, really. Right, now because there is no real upgrade for that just yet, I mean... We can use moguls, but since the top speed is 80 kilometers an hour, we might as well replace everything with these. Because they're powerful, and that's also their top speed. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to replace all these engines with the powerful one. Because it is, after all, just sheer weight hauling, and that's it. So, right, textile, next thing. Um, textile is... oh, crap. Yeah, we have textile, I think. <laughs> that's plant fibers, which can go in box cars, that's good. I believe it is also... Uh, oh, yeah, I should heighten that list up. 
wool. Which can also be done in box cars. Great. <laughs> and I believe... Now that might actually be it already. Just plant fibers and wool. I don't think there's anything else that we can make textile out of, but... That's great. That means that we're gonna upgrade everything. No, not petrol. But we're gonna upgrade everything to those 40 box cars. At least. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, that needs some speed. I can see that. And the plant fibers even more. So yeah, we are going to upgrade everything uh, to box cars. And let's open up the fancy list over here. Mm, let's see. Now, we need speed, like I said. So these moguls, they're a no-no. I want... Well, it is sheer pulling, but there is also some speed required. So we're gonna go with the uh, second fastest train over here, the 460. Uh, and first of all, actually, we'll set this to all be replaced by the 40 boxcars. So the gondolas are gone, and the regular boxcars too. Right, and then over here we will make all of these 460s, and these, you know, <laughs> the ones that we already have as 460s, we'll just replace those manually, because <laughs> If there's old types in there, uh, that is. Because I see that we over here, for example, we have new types already. So, they don't all need replacing. And then there's the timber trains. Now, timber, I mean, those are all pulling timber. Timber only. So, there's no real need for us to separate anything. Mm. <laughs> well, actually, I do need to know. Ah, it seems to me that boxcars are the one thing to use for timber. Uh, let's take a look. Timber. There we go. Let's also <laughs> get this over here so that we can see what it is doing. Some speed required. Doesn't need to be top notch, but some speed, most definitely. I do know though that some timber trains really travel long distances. I think this box car is the one that we want. So we'll replace everything with uh, with those. Let's get there. Uh, well, wow, we're still employing a lot of these regular box guys. Not anymore so in a short while. I don't know, I, I just pray that, I mean, you for example, right? What are your capacities? This is just a check, really. Oh, it is timber. <laughs> it sure is, <laughs> right? Okay, good. We'll replace everything. I hope I don't break <laughs> that much though right now. Now then, the moguls, they need to be gone. We're gonna go for these uh, 460s over here. Because timber is also just sheer weight holding. Uh, start replacing. And we'll do the same with these. I also want these to be 460s. And then, I mean, the rest is already a 460. So the slow ones we'll have to manually do. Right, well, as you can see, there is a lot of work that still needs doing. And there's also a lot of, uh, to me, not really clear about how the game handles petrol. I mean, I know one thing that I do know, but I don't know if that is the one thing that will, well, uh, you know, define like how it's gonna work. We just, oh, go to the industry list. Disable all, and then go to, uh, let's see, where is it, the P of petrol station. <laughs> we can see that there is zero on the entire freaking map. There are, at some point, petrol stations. Now, my assumption is that they will only be here once uh, we have diesel trains. If it is reliant on petrol stations, that's a big letdown, really. Maybe I should have done research before I started a series, uh, you know, into this subject, but... I'll have to see if anybody of you, the viewer, knows how it works with petrol. Please do enlighten me and leave a comment. But uh, I'll do some research myself as well, and hopefully, next time, we will have a completely up-to-date fleet of trains we know how to handle petrol and we can start growing some cities and maybe then as well look into some new industries because i know there are a few and some are quite interesting but we'll save that all for next time when we play more open ttd